so hey guys i want to do some kind of like rant video because yesterday was fucking ridiculous um so i experienced my first netflix and chill moment and it didn't end the way that you think it would i'm a loyal bitch so um there was a guy i'm talking i was talking to he's supposed to be a friend because that's all he's supposed to be sorry my cat just did something really stupid i wish if the camera was pointed the other way but i was like okay well maybe we'll hang out why not it's a thursday night i don't have anything to really do the next day i mean i have to go to a, a program for work but i'm a night owl anyway so he hits me up saying, oh, well, we'll go hang out. We'll get a few drinks. Maybe we'll buy it to eat. Okay, cool. So I'm like, okay, it's going to be a public setting. Boy, was I wrong. This son of a bitch goes, he just came out of work. because his own company. Well, it's his dad's company. And he uh, drives a truck. It's not one of those 18-wheeler shits. It's like a simple 10-wheeler like a almost like a U-Haul truck kind of shit. So he kind of picks me up because he's he was in Manhattan, so he has to come across uh, the George Washington Bridge, and from there you can cut. When you cut up, you hit my block first before you go up to um where he is. So it was a straight line. So he came pick me up, and he had parked outside. He told me he's living with his parents again because he wants to go back to school. Okay, cool. I'm doing the same thing. Why not? He goes, he, like a shit shower shave changes. I'm like, okay, maybe we'll go to a bar. This son of a bitch comes out in a t shirt that says Venezuela and sweatpants and sneakers. N what? Nigga, what? I came out in my cute knee-high black boots, my high-waisted um, turquoise pants, a cute crop top, uh, my makeup was done right. Nigga, this, is, this face is for the outdoors. This is a going out face. Okay? He's like, oh, well, I took a shower and I didn't really want to go anywhere. I'm like, okay, cool. So we're going to hang out with a few of your friends. He goes, well, there will only really be one. And he just had a baby. I was like, okay. Nigga goes and rents a room. And thankfully, because, you know, I'm quick on my feet. I told him one not too far from my house. Because I knew what he, where he was going. Oh, poor unfortunate soul. Rents a room. Yes, a Smirnoff, like the wine cooler shit, cuz thank God the freaking um, liquor stores were closed. Nigga, you're not gonna sit there and get me fucking twisted. Oh no. He gets bud. I took one puff off. I was like, Look, for all this, I can sit there and either take a puff from my mom's cigarette and then take a puff off my asthma pump. That's all it does to me. It's like, whatever. He really thought that I was going to sit there and sleep with him. Hence, Netflix and chill. Because he's like, oh, let's watch TV and whatever you want. And laying up next to me. I was like, what the fuck, nigga? This is a two-bed room. You couldn't go all the way over there. All over there. Like, I like my space. The whole time we're in the car, he's sick. They're asking for a kiss. Okay, I'm going to kiss you like I kiss all my other friends. On the cheek. He wants to sit there and try to move the my lips. Bit, a bitch wore black lipstick on purpose. I thought that seeing his you looked at that and be like, nah, I don't want that on me. This nigga was totally fine with it. <sighs> so, hang out. We, I think we hung out three hours. Because most of it was driving. Because he was trying to find... A hotel as far away from both of our houses as fucking possible. I wasn't going for no shit like that. So. It, it was stupid. I mean, you. 
guys sit there and really think that just because you put down a hundred for a room for the night, that you pay for drinks, that you pay for snacks and shit, that I'm supposed to sleep with you? And I warned you ahead of time, oh nigga, we're only going as friends. We're going to hang out as friends. This is not no smashing pass. I am a loyal motherfucking girlfriend to a nigga that I've been with for over a year. Um, and you a stranger. I don't know you. I don't know where your dick been. I don't know where your mouth been. No, it's not cute. And then it's like, it doesn't help that some of you girls sit there and go along with it. I don't know. I understand if it's one thing and you've known the person for a while. What happens, happens. But a, a stranger? Now I was stupid enough to have gone with him. But my thing is, is that because you're so stupid to think that I was going to go with it, I was going to destroy him. Destroy his whole soul. That I was going to take that shit with me. I have a beautiful condo in hell. I know I do. Beautiful oceanside view. All I know is I was taking that motherfucker with me to hell. I was taking him with me. I was going to destroy his whole life. So... I, I can't. I still can't even with the whole freaking experience. Like he really thought he was going to get it. He then my mom. Oh, her impeccable timing. Calls. She's asking for cigarettes. Then my mom. She going through withdrawal symptoms. She hadn't had a cigarette in a while, and she really needed one. So, um, I'm like okay, but it's like it's late. I have somewhere to go in the morning. I'll just go home. I'm definitely not staying here with this asshole. He can sit here by himself with these two beds. He can jump from one bed to the other and entertain himself. Uh, Cause no, I'm not the bitch to be doing some shit like that. It's it's it was gross. I mean, I don't care if he fucking took a shower. Yeah, I took a shower too. Um. That don't mean you're getting into... No. If I really wanted dick that bad, seriously, I have a boyfriend. I know where that shit's been. I know he keeps that shit clean. He used the bathroom. Nigga actually washes his hands. No matter where he go. He does it at home. I've stayed over a number of times. He stayed over at mine. So I know the routine. So, for you guys that think that you can't really take a girl out, mind you, you just, like, we hadn't seen each other. So, we're sitting talking back and forth on phone and text. Um, take a bitch out. It's a Thursday night. Bars are open. Don't mean you had to go to a fucking club, even though I would have rathered because I'm, I dance. But you couldn't even take me to a bar. A public setting. Where there's more than two people. Um. No. That screams disaster. And I warned this as ahead of time. Um. I may not be the best motherfucking fighter. But I will kill you. Play it simple. I have no remorse in that. If I feel I have to. I will call the ambulance ahead of time. But I really don't understand the stupid Netflix and chill shit. Take the fucking girl out. Have some fucking courtesy. Wait. And then you girls, you go with it. So now the guys think that every girl is supposed to do this. Not us classy bitches. Uh, me and my boyfriend, we've been going out for a while. And we still go out on dates. I mean, we're kind of overdue for one. It's been a little while. But we try to fucking do something. Shoot, with us we try to go at least once a month. At least. But, um. Y'all have lowered your motherfucking standards. It is disgusting. I'd be damned if I let my daughter sit there and allow some shit like that to happen. I mean, I'll clean up the body. I have no problem bu burying one. 
no problem. But best believe we'll be having a long talk about standards and personal value. Because if I was his parents, um, quite frankly, I'd have beat that ass. I don't care how old you are. I would have beat that ass. Beat it. You would have no more ass when I'm done with it. And we have a long talk about how you treat a woman. Because hey, it's like a lot of you don't have class anymore. My generation has thrown that in chivalry right out the motherfucking window. I'm 21 fucking years old. And I mean, I curse with my mom because we're cool. And same thing with my father because we have understanding. But I'd be damned if I sit there and disrespect my mother. Do some shit that is disrespectful like that. Because it all comes back to her and my father. Because I was raised better than that. But a lot of you, I guess, because y'all have young mothers. Your mom don't understand that fact of respect and never got to teach you. Because she doesn't know herself. Or the fathers were um, assholes and... Or fuck boys, as y'all like to say now. And they don't know the value of what a man really is. I don't care if you just came out of a fucking bad relationship. You just want to say, fuck having uh, a relationship now. I'm just going to hang out and do me. But do you the right way. Because you ain't going to do me. That whole shit was like stupid. I came home and was like, uh, a little after 12. Because they feel the walk wasn't too long. And I don't care if you got a car or a truck, you can be cute. Um, that kind of shit doesn't pass with me. You can be the cutest thing on earth, and I would still rather kill you. Being blatantly honest. And you're probably like, oh, why, why kill? Why kill? Just, just. It's called a blank slate, and we're going to make sure that shit blank. Your existence is gone. That's That's it. I mean. And you sitting talking all this shit in the fucking truck. And it's like, um, that is so cute. Aw. Things like, things like, oh, well, you're pretty and come over here and get a hug. And I'm like, damn, nigga, your mother ain't give you hugs? At all? Sorry, my cat sitting next to me. Say hi. Hey, yo, kitty. Yeah, this is who I went to after I came home from that bullshit. And she came up to me. She knew I was upset. And lay down next to me and just fell asleep. And I was like, oh, you're so cute. She called me down. She kept me from going into a homicidal genocide. Because it, it would have been horrible. Like, every guy that ever done it would have been gone. And there's a lot of you girls that probably would agree with me. And, and I'm glad that I handled the situation the way I did. I I started off really nice, being cordial with him, but he was getting out of hand. And it was like, I'm sitting there explaining to the girl when I went to Taco Bell, so about this nigga really thinks that this is going to be a Netflix and chill. She's like, yeah, what? She told me to shut up. Because she knows it would make me upset. But I'm over it. I mean, what happened, happened. Right? What? See, I'd rather nurse a very unhealthy relationship with that cat than deal with people. It is so sad. And he got on my nerves so much that I didn't even refer him to his name. Which I'm not even going to say. Shush. I called him human. Because, like, if humans are going to sit there acting like that, I don't want to be that. So I won't be human. Because I don't act like that. So I guess I'm not human. But I was like, look, human, you really need to cut the shit. I was like, why are you being so mean? Come over here and lay down with me. Nigga, go lay down in your bed. There's another bed all the way over there. You look, but the TV's right here. Okay, fine. I'll go to the other fucking bed. I got glasses. Look, I can see. Well, fuck it up. 
You know, you're just being mean. No. You act like a giant motherfucking teddy bear and you're a little too motherfucking clingy. And he's gonna ask me all these questions, which I understand he wants to get to know me. That's totally fine. But to be doing all that? No. So that was my amazing experience from yesterday into early, early this morning. Early this morning. Um so yeah, I feel a lot better. I got that off my chest. I called my boyfriend afterwards so he knew what happened. Cause I was like, babe, this wants it's like this nigga here. So he knows what's going on. My mother knows what's going on. She thought it was hilarious. She was on the roll on the floor. So that's one guy I will not be answering the phone to. He better take off uh Erase my number because I won't be motherfucking answering. Play it simple. And he went all puppy dog eyes. I'm, I'm sorry if I made you uncomfortable. Da, 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 da. And I was like, don't worry, you'll grow up sooner or later. I just hope it's sooner rather than later. Because you might die sooner rather than later. He goes, why are you always saying that? And I'm like, I don't have time to beat a child's ass that their parents didn't do. Just wipe the slates. Wipe it clean. Nobody else has to deal with the bullshit. The parents can even start over again. They can try again. Make a new perfect specimen. If you will. But. I just came back from my little program. I'm exhausted. The trains are acting so gay. Including the buses. They finally cleaned that out. But the trains are still acting up. So. I'm going to take me a nap with my little Fluffy. Say bye-bye, Fluffy. Say bye. Bye-bye, Fluffy. Now, see you next time I have to get something off my chest.